sure why the video stopped recording. My video stopped recording. Okay, so we have H-U-R, H-U-Q-R-T, R-P-R-G-A-M, J-F-X-D-W, V-M, V-F-X-D-W, V-M-K-C-D-B, uh, T-H, I heard. Victor, Thomas, Deidre, um, Casey, <clears throat> Deidre, Danielle, Thomas, Jason, Monique, uh, Howie, Hurt, <clears throat> I see the word hurt, I see the word rat, the word fixed. Um, I see the word daddy. Um, I'm going to lift these up so you can see them just in case we get interrupted again. That's absolutely weird. Hopefully you can see these. sure why my camera shut off. Hopefully it shut off just at the letter tiles and not anything before that. Um, Wendy, Micah, Kendra, Paul, Xavier, Charles, So those are the stuff that's coming through right now. Um, I'm going to go ahead and end this here because we're almost at an hour. So if you guys um, enjoyed this reading, please let me know down in the comments. If it resonated, please let me know down in the comments. Um, make sure you like, share, subscribe. And like I said, if this doesn't resonate, make sure you check out Pile 1 and Pile 3. And be sure to check in with me soon check in with uh, different readings later I'm um, just rambling at this point but definitely I hope you enjoyed your reading and I will be sure to see everybody soon so thank you so much Pile 2, I enjoyed doing your reading and be sure to stay true to who you are um, and keep moving forward so thank you so much and uh, giving everybody love and light and positivity and that's my cue to get off here and stop rambling. Bye! Hello my pile three. Hello, hello, welcome, welcome, welcome. My goodness pile three, I hope you can hear me okay. Um, cannot find my cord to my microphone so I'm having to use the microphone that is built in to my phone. So, hopefully, hopefully, I pray that you can hear me okay. Um, so, this pile, my dear, lovely pile three, this pile was definitely interesting to try and get filmed. Um, I channel before I start filming to get whatever messages that need to come through and I write them down. Um, I do this with every reading that I do and then um, I also channel messages while I'm doing a reading. That way everything that needs to come through can come through. So I'm going to start off with a little prayer. That way we have that and then I will tell you everything that happened with this pile because 
it was just weird, right? Weird. That's the only word I have for it. Spirit guides, guardian angels, and ancestors. Please help. <clears throat> Goodness. The roach. Throat frog. <clears throat> Spirit guides, guardian angels, and ancestors. Please help me deliver clear, concise, and accurate messages for pile three. And help deliver them with positivity, love, and light. Thank you. Thank you very much, Spirit. So, okay. Pile 1 and Pile 2, their readings actually, if you um, want to check those out, if you feel you have any inkling to check those out, you may do so. Um, before I get started with what I channeled before um, I started recording, I just want to say that if you don't have anything that resonates, that's okay. Um, I'm going to tell you what songs came through, what messages came through. Um, I'm going to use some oracle uh, oracle cards, tarot cards, and at the end, um, I'm going to use these little alphabet beads to get some initials, call out some names that come through. If you don't see any initials, that's okay. It doesn't mean that the reading is not for you. It just means that that portion, you don't have any initials. Um, that didn't come out right. <laughs> it doesn't mean that that specific initials or anything isn't there for you. That just means that that specific portion may not resonate and that's okay because it could mean that the rest of the reading may resonate. Um, if there's particular signs or something that comes through, um, you could have those signs in your chart or your person could have those signs in their chart um, or they may not and that's okay too. So you could, you know, like I said a minute ago, check out um, one of the other piles and they could possibly resonate for you as well. And if absolutely nothing resonates, that's okay too. Like I said, there may not be any messages. There will be other readings in the coming days that could potentially resonate. Um, but I do hope something resonates for somebody today because uh, that's the whole point of putting these readings up. So, thank you, Spirit. It's telling me to stop babbling and get on with it. Um, so, the songs that came through while I was sitting here thinking about your pile, uh, first of all, talk about the, the stone here. The stone, I wrote it down, is uh, because I can never ever pronounce it correctly. This beautiful stone that's shaped like a heart here. It's got a pinky and a pinky color and uh, it's got a little crack here on the back of it which makes me think that, you know, some, some of you may have been in a really long relationship, uh, marriage or partnership with somebody. I don't know if you can see the little crack. Um, had this stone for a pretty long time. Um, it's called a rhodochrosite, uh, but it's really pretty. It's got like all these swirls in it, um, kind of textured, and it looks like it's got little lightning strikes in it too. It's got little flecks of gold. It's really pretty, um, but it has to do with um, love and passion, um, like healing passions and healing love and stuff like that. So I thought that was pretty cool for this pile. So the key here, like I talked about earlier, it's kind of like a royal regal key. It's got all these intricate designs on it. Um, kind of reminds me like a skeleton key that you would find maybe for like a castle or a bigger home. Um, definitely one of those longer standing keys that you would see for a longer time period, maybe a renaissance period. Um, it's got a it's got a cat down here at the bottom. I just noticed that. You may have a cat. What a cat. 
down here at the bottom. I don't know if that'll focus or not. So you may have a cat that may resonate with you, or you may like cats. Um, I was just thinking about pharaohs and Egyptians right then and there. There's, that's what that reminded me of right then and there, but, you know, or a panther. Um, I don't know why that just came through, but that did. So, um, if that resonates, this is the pile for you. Um, the songs that came through before was I Won't Give Up by Jason Mraz. And I forgot to start the timer. Oh my goodness. Uh, the song that came through was I Won't Give Up by Jason Mraz. And the particular lyrics that came through was when I look into your eyes, it's just, it's like watching the night sky or a beautiful sunrise. There's so much they hold. Um, the next lyrics that came through was, How old is your soul? I won't give up on us, even if the skies get rough. I'm giving you all my love. Um, so that makes me think that uh, this relationship or partnership, this marriage, um, has been, whilst it may be stable now, has been through a lot. Because when you commit to somebody, you commit to, oh, my candle flame just said, whoosh. It's quite tall right now. It's probably about an inch and a half. Um, pretty cool. Um, so I think that when you commit to somebody and you are with somebody for a very long time, you take in the good and the bad, right? You've got hill. A marriage is not just a straight line. You've got hills and valleys. Uh, some some people have mountains, and it's when you're climbing up those mountains that you can see the good, the bad, and the ugly from each other. And when you commit to that person, you commit to the good, the bad, and the ugly, no matter what it is. Okay. Um, when you see people who are 80 years old and you ask them. Um, how their marriage worked. I know when I asked my grandparents that once, and they gave me that, that age-old analogy, you fix it when it's broken, you don't just throw it away. Um, and I, I love that analogy. You fix it, you don't just throw it away. You work through it, you talk about it, and you move forward. So I feel like that's the, the gist of this pile that we're getting to getting ready to get into is the the peaks and valleys of this this pile right here we're, we're getting ready to dig into the peaks and valleys of somebody or multiple people's um, connection or energies because this isn't just male and female because there is no gender in tarot okay but I'm reading energies for for you um, the other song that came out was uh, actually by Taylor Swift, all of the girls you loved before. Again, this is, there is no gender in tarot. Uh, but the lyrics are, the, let's see, the girls you loved before made you the one I've fallen for. Every dead end street led you straight to me. Now you're all I need. I'm so thankful for all the girls you loved before. Now you can apply that as you need to. Take what resonates and leave the rest. You can put the, the gender in there as you need to. And uh, right before I started recording, another song popped up. And it was uh, If I Ain't Got You by Alicia Keys. And if you don't know that song, then you need to go type that into Google and listen to the lyrics. Or go read the lyrics. Um, but the specific was... Um, some people live for the fortune, some people live for the fame, some people live for the power, um, some people live for the gain. Uh, some people think the physical things define. Uh, some people think that the physical things define. What's within and I've been there before That life's a bore so full of a superficial Some people want it all But I don't want nothing at all 
If it ain't you, baby If I ain't got you, baby Some people want the other rings Some just want everything But everything means nothing If I ain't got you So, sorry I'm not singing great I don't really sing much anymore And I'm definitely not singing loud Because everybody's asleep <laughs> But those were the lyrics, um, and like I said, it just came up before I hit record, so I didn't have a chance to sit down and write it down for you guys, but none of the other piles got any kind of singing, so sorry if it made your ears bleed, but those were the lyrics for that one. Um, so what I feel for your pile, pile three, is uh, this is definitely a soul contract, twin flame, um, soulmate journey and like I said this is a you guys have definitely been through a lot and even if you've you're not even if you're not married and you're a partner with somebody or this is a fresh relationship I feel like you guys have known each other a while before you decided to get into a relationship so you've known this person and you've been through a lot with this person um the other thing that came through was this isn't the first time you've been with this person so you've shared a past life with this person and if you don't believe in that that's okay but if that is something that you believe in or that you've read up on this is a connection that you've had with this person in a previous lifetime so it's rolling over again into this lifetime. So you've shared this connection with this person before. That's it. So if it feels familiar to you in any way or you've had any kind of deja vu at any point in your relationship, that's why. Because you've had, you've done this before with this person. Um, so any kind of deja vu moments, that means that you're on the right track with this person. Um, I just needed to say that as confirmation for somebody um so the other thing that i needed to to say is the reason why i said earlier that this was weird is because i didn't have any issues recording pile one and pile two um when it came to your <laughs> recording pile three um there were so many issues actually getting this recorded. This is being recorded actually 12 hours later. So 12 may be a significant number for somebody. Um, 12 could be a birthday. 12 could be an anniversary year um, or an anniversary date. 12 could be the date of a marriage. 12 could be um, the month of birth for somebody. 12 could be... Um, the distance of years between two people, um, like somebody, that could be the age gap between two people. Um, no, no dissing on anybody for that any, either. No negative, no negative anywhere for anybody. My bubble is a safe spot for everybody. Um, but that could be an age gap for somebody. Um, you could have met this person 12 years ago and just re-met this person, just came into to contact with this person again and decided to see, oh, I'm sorry, I started burping. So that's confirmation for somebody out there. You could have um, met this person 12 years ago and just came into contact with them again and are taking steps to see where this goes. So this applies for you too. Um, and you may actually find that another Pile resonates with you as well. Um, pile one may, may resonate with you as well as this pile. So I just had to um, to say that uh, there were so many just interruptions trying to get this pile started for you. Um, I just it was a little frustrating, and you may find that things are frustrating for. For you guys at times but definitely needed to just throw that out there um if you're finding yourself frustrated um you're like okay stop babbling and get stuff going um 
but those are the the signs and synchronicities that I needed to say I'm gonna go ahead and get started with the signs of the time Oracle and see what messages come through for you guys um, somebody may have some trouble speaking up in this relationship or you may, may feel like you have some communication struggles at times only because I, I felt like I needed to besides the fact that I was rambling I felt like I needed to take a sip of my drink um, because I felt like I felt like what I needed to say was stuck there for a moment so I feel like sometimes there may be some communication troubles between some some of you um, And if you like this reading, please make sure that you like, um, like and comment. Let me know that it resonates for you. I like the I like reading the comments. Please uh, let me know what my pile three needs to know. What does my pile three need to know? Do one more shuffle. That's pal three need to know. Three may be a significant number as well. three need to know. No messages, just how three need to hear. This is how we need to hear spirit. Number seven may be significant. Some of you may have had a feather cross your path. Spirit says that's a message from your guides, your angels. It could be any color feather. I'm hearing that seven is a lucky number for a lot of you. Uh, so we have mountain and obstacles. Some of you may be a life path number five. Some of you may be a life path number five. I do, I do see that there's a lot of you who have obstacles in the path that you're going right now. You see this path is nice and straight, but you have these obstacles up ahead. But on the other side of this, it's nice and flat again. With this feather here, it's it's basically telling what I'm, I'm feeling here is you need to listen to your intuition and follow signs and synchronicities if you do that. Um, you also may be a life path number seven. Let me get a couple of more before I finish with that thought process. What other messages does Pile 3 need to hear? We have Labyrinth and Journey.
We have not in relationships. Can you get one more, please? Some of you may be 35. Some of you may have been in a relationship for the last 15 years or so. I'm hearing some of you may have been in a relationship for the last five to seven years. Could be five to seven months. Some of you may be in a relationship for the last 35 plus years. Or just tied the knot in your relationship. If you did just tie the knot in your relationship, congratulations. Can I get one more, please? What does Palfrey need to hear? One more place for it. Thank you. Oh, they gave me two. Yep. Enlightenment, lotus flower, and fun. Okay. What's on the bottom here? Divine guidance. Absolutely. 33. I feel like 33 is definitely a, a confirmation for a lot of you. Or two with the flamingo here. Two with the flamingo reminds me of two of cups in relationships and then we have uh, lotus flower enlightenment 27 some of you may be 27 and 35 that may be the age gap with the relationship here so okay what I'm feeling here is it doesn't matter where you are in your journey okay we see the the two balls here this could be you and your partner if you're just getting back in, or this could be you and another person, but basically what I'm feeling here is it doesn't matter where you are on your journey, okay? Do not compare yourself to somebody else, okay? Do not compare yourself, do not compare your relationship with somebody else's relationship. And you see these mountains here, and these mountains look big and scary, and just looming ahead of you and the spirit says trust your intuition trust your guidance trust the guidance that you're getting from the universe trust and have faith in divine guidance okay you need to have focus the focus was underneath that focus was underneath the having faith in divine guidance okay because the further that you keep taking steps forward and trusting in yourself and trusting in your intuition and trusting in your relationship, this little knot is not going to get tighter, right? It's got this little curve kind of here, like this journey with all these little different paths and loops winding around. You and your partner moving forward on this journey, on this path here with this red string moving forward. These mountains look up close, but the further that you keep going on this path, one of two things is going to happen. Either these mountains are going to keep going further away, or you're just going to go right through them. Because you don't know where this road leads, is what I'm hearing. Okay? And even if you take this, this road right here, and you walk this path, and you go around this curve, you're with your partner, you're by yourself, you don't know where the road leads but instead of getting overwhelmed by how big the mountains are have faith in yourself and trust your journey on where you're going and know that everything's going to be fine regardless of how big the mountains are i really hope that that makes sense If you take another look at this, this road curves to the left. 
okay it doesn't stay straight it curves to the left so I feel like if you have faith in yourself and trust your intuition and trust that everything is going to be fine and work out the way that it's meant to this road is going to lead you around the mountain it's not going to lead you straight into it so I feel like when you're overwhelmed by whatever is going on in your life or with your relationship, if you take a step back and you look at the overall picture and start having fun instead of being, um, I don't want to say antagonistic, I don't think that's the right word, uh, but start having fun. I feel like some of you guys maybe. Uh, if you're like me, I'm a Capricorn. If you're too work-focused or just too analytical, um, I feel like there's a imbalance in some of your in some of your relationships where there may be. Let's take. Um, I don't want to use a I don't want to use a Cancer as an example, but I know Cancers are fun-loving and light-hearted and just. Uh, I don't want to say they're overly emotional, but they're fun-loving and light-hearted, right? So let's take an analytical Cancer, or an analytical Capricorn and a fun-loving Cancer, right? There's a, if you have too much of one and too much of another, they got to find a balance there. Or a laid-back Virgo and a analytical Aquarius, they've got to find a balance there. Um, everybody has to find a balance. So if you have too much of one and too much of another, you gotta work together to find a balance. I feel like that's where you have the flamingos here. You see this one flamingo sitting here. This one right here is just standing like a flamingo should. And then you got this flamingo back here. Kind of got the head up and it's got this, this flamingo right here looks like it's smiling. And then this one's got the head up. And it's kind of like, what are you doing, Ralph? And that may be somebody's name. If it is, I'm so sorry. But, you know... Thank you, Spirit. Um, so this little flamingo's got its head up, like, what are you doing, Ralph? And then, of course, this flamingo over here is like, what do you mean, Frank? You know, like, well, we're supposed to be having fun, not just, you know, standing around, you know, like a bump on a log. So I feel like this is for somebody who needs to lighten up and enjoy life and, and have fun with each other. Not one person go off and have fun while the other one doesn't. Okay, find your way back to each other. And even with this journey thing, if this is for somebody that needs to hear this, if this is your person and this is you, you two need to find your way back to each other instead of being separate from each other. Um, that That is for somebody. Especially if you've been in a relationship for 15 years. There's no reason why you two can't walk this path together instead of being so far apart. So, hopefully that helps somebody. Because somebody needed to hear this. And I hope I'm, I hope I'm making sense. I'm also going to pull from the key oracle. That was a pretty shuffle. <laughs> What is Path 3 need to hear? Sorry, my incense went out. Yeah, what did I say about those blockages and just interruptions? And, um... That is just not something that typically happens in my readings. So I feel like you guys have a lot of interruptions in your life, whether it be work or just outside influences. And I got a really big, like, wavy flame right now instead of a nice steady one. What does Pal 3 need to hear right now? What is Pal 3 need to hear right now? Oh, 
Ooh, those flipped over right away. Okay. Okay, yep, we have Oblivion, open your arms. So I feel like, sorry, I hope this is not reflecting too much. Oblivion, open your arms. You see how this person is kind of turned away, hugging herself? I feel like this is one person in the relationship, or it could be both of you. Kind of turned away from each other and her chin is angled down looking down and she's hugging herself at the elbows so for some of you who the other one here hold on that's a number 20. this one is euphoria honor yourself and this is a number nine This one's touching her throat. Touching her, his. Could be a him. We got that crown coming out. So, for some of you, I feel like they're. She feels lonely here. Okay, she or he. Gender does not matter. Somebody feels alone in their relationship. Okay. So I feel like there is no communication going on somewhere. Or there's very limited communication. And you can have communication in a relationship. And not have communication at the same time. And not have communication. I mean by that. Not have communication about things that matter. Um, you can say, Hi, hey, how was your day? And talk about mundane things all day long. And not talk about what's important. Um, so when this card comes out with this one, it really does make me feel like there is not any kind of important conversations going on in somebody's relationship, okay? Um, talking about the things that matter, talking about feelings and intimate conversations, talking about the things that couples should be talking about, not about kids, not about pets, not about, you know, the everyday life things that you talk about when you're in a family dynamic or a household dynamic, bills, dishes, laundry, household stuff, cars, you know, things that develop over a relationship time period. I'm talking about the intimate couple things, you know, movie night, bedroom stuff, the stuff that you talked about when you first got together that made a relationship exciting, those things are still important and still need to be talked about regardless of how many years passed. Do the things, do the things 15, 20, 50, 60 years later now that you did before. Hold on a second. I'm stumbling over myself. Do the things throughout the entire relationship that you did when you first got together. Because if you don't do those things, then the spark dies. And of course, there's gonna be those time periods when you two don't like each other, and that's okay, that's absolutely fine, because nobody can like each other 100% of the time. But if you don't continue to do the things throughout an entire relationship that you did when you first got together, then this will happen and walls will be built and blockages will be made against each other and then you start to sour against each other and that's why relationships fail hopefully that made sense for somebody or hopefully that resonated with somebody because i really do feel like there is a huge blockage or lack of communication for a few of you or for a lot of you and there's just a stagnation of Hey, how you doing? How was your day? Yeah, work was fine. And then somebody's sitting there on the couch and nobody's talking to anybody. Nobody's having any romantic conversations. Nobody's having spicy text messages. Nobody's having those text messages where somebody's at work and then somebody's sending random, you know, saucy text messages that make somebody turn their phone away because they don't want their friends to see it because it's definitely one of those messages that makes you go, oh, okay, you know, those text messages or messages or, you know, somebody coming home from work and having a, um, 
I don't know, a Nerf gun war, or just playful fun with your spouse or partner or somebody, those things are important. And I feel like somebody here or somebody is not having those, but there's still such a deep love for each other and such respect for each other that those things can be worked on and be rekindled and be refound again because you guys love each other so much. Um, on the bottom of the deck we have 17 and Minimus commune with the source and what I feel like with this one what it means by commune with the source is the source of each other is what I what I'm getting off this card right now the source of each other and that's your heart and your soul of each other and just find each other again that's that's exactly what I'm feeling off of this one the source of each other, the source of your love, the source of finding each other again and just rekindling it and restarting it and start back at one and rebuild each other back up and just find the spark again. Because the, the love that I see for a lot of you is literally just humming under the surface. Like somebody goes to start something and they're like, no, I bet that person's just too tired and doesn't want to do anything. Or no, I bet he's too tired and doesn't want to do anything. And I guarantee you, all it would take is a simple touch, hug, sigh, just, hey, something, if somebody would initiate something somewhere, it would just blow the lid off of it for a lot of you. Because the passion is still there. It's literally humming under the surface. All somebody has to do is take a step forward. Um, I'm going to grab the Romance Angels deck. I literally just heard yes, please. <laughs> I literally just heard yes, please. Somebody said yes, please. Absolutely. So, I mean, somebody <laughs> definitely would like somebody to do that. What does Pile 3 need to hear? What does Pile 3 need to hear, please? What does Pile 3 need to hear? What does Pile 3 need to hear? That bed squeaking upstairs with my son moving really does confirm that it really would just take a moment and somebody would have a bed knocking around. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically, romantically attractive. So in a lot of this, I feel like some of you, some of you don't feel attractive to your spouse or your partner. And I'm hearing that's not at all what it is. And that's coming from your, your loved one. Like you are beautiful. Um, if you're not feeling, look, I under, I understand completely the, the not feeling attractive. I mean, we, we grow up and we have kids or even if you don't, if something like life happens, right? But you need to communicate with your partner about how you feel and just Communicate is, is what I'm hearing. You need to communicate. Because this love yourself first card that's coming out. Uh, 
Ow. Hello. I'm gonna pause for one second because like half the deck went for. Hold on one second, pile three. Okay, I'm back, pile three. So the only one that was upright on the floor was give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Okay, so I am going to take that one. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Okay, your partner absolutely adores you. Absolutely adores you. Okay, I feel like this non-communication that you're having with your partner is definitely one of those, like, non-communication, communication thing, but the actual communication that needs to happen, tell your partner how you're feeling. That's what needs to happen. If you're having, you know, issues with whatever's going on with yourself, if it's a self-love thing, tell them. If it's a self-love thing with your partner, if your partner's having issues, you know, try to find a way to communicate with them about that. Um, like, I'm not a mental health expert, so take everything that I'm saying with a grain of salt. Um, if it's a professional help thing, seek professional help somehow. I, um, again, I am not a mental health professional, so I cannot really give advice on that. But this can give your relationship a chance thing. Your partner loves you. And I know that you love your partner. It is definitely evident with all of these cards here. Um, but this is something that you need to work on with, with your partner. What else does Pile 3 need to hear? And Pile 3, you are not the only ones that struggle with self-love, okay? That is definitely a ongoing thing with many, many people. Just so you know that you are not alone and you are in a safe place here, okay? This is a safe bubble. What other messages does Kyle 3 need to hear about your person? What messages does Kyle 3 need to hear? Does it didn't want to do it? Doesn't want to do it. Messages for Pile 3 from this deck. Thank you. Okay. So, Pile 3. First of all, you have been worth waiting for. I know I said earlier that for some of you, you may have met this person a while ago and you just now started coming you just now met this, re-met this person, this person just now came back into your life, this person absolutely thinks you're worth waiting for, right? Divine timing is at work in your love life. And this goes, this can be for anybody with the divine timing is at work in your love life. So know that if there is limited communication right now about personal feelings or intimate feelings, divine timing is still at work in your love life. This person definitely thinks you're worth waiting for. Um, even though your communication is limited about anything other than the daily living stuff. Your person still thinks that you are amazing, still thinks that you are their true love, okay? That this is the romance of a lifetime, and they know that you're worth waiting for. If this person just came back into your life, this person knows that you were worth waiting for, and knows that you're their true love, okay? And I feel like you know that this person that just came back into your life or has been in your life, you know that there's your true love. So, and you know that this is a romance of a lifetime. Um, for, and this is a very select few of you. This may only resonate with one or two of you. For, I feel like for the very few of you the reason why this uh, person may have come back into your life or may have stayed away for so long, where the religious factors may have influenced that. Um, you could have been different religions. Um, 
somebody may have told this person to stay away. That's very, very select few of you. It says your love life was being is being influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual spiritual path. I'm also hearing that if some of you are into, if you're watching this video, obviously you're into esoteric. I'm hearing that this person may or may not have been a little freaked out by the fact that you're into esoteric and possibly that's the reason why they stayed away for so long but they came back because you know they grew up quote unquote and actually um researched and learned about it and realized that it's not such a bad thing um it's not such a taboo thing anymore, but it was more taboo, you know, 12 years ago, 15 years ago. Not too many people talked about it back then, but now it's becoming more accepted. So they're coming into your life now to apologize for the way they acted so such a long time ago and for all the time that they wasted. Um, so that may or may not resonate for some of you. And for... All of you in Pile 3, your person is definitely attracted to you. Um, you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Your person is definitely attracted to you, okay? This person in your life right now, your partner, you guys are definitely attracted to each other. The amount of passion that you have for each other is off the chain. Talking steam, fire, flames, fireworks abso freaking lily y'all i'm just the song uh <laughs> uh hypnotize is coming out by Katy perry i was gonna say firework um a minute ago and then i stopped myself and i was like no that's that's not accurate because it's more of a you hypnotize me and um, I was I was hearing her voice, and I was like, "Baby, you're a firework." And I was like, mm, "No, that's more of a in the bedroom thing." And then I stopped myself and I said, "Wait a second, because I was seeing the music video um, where she's in the Egyptian outfit, and all the men was coming forward and offering her, offering her gifts." And I was like, "That's hypnotize." Mm. I can't remember the name of the song. If somebody remembers the name of that song where she's in the Egyptian outfit and all of the men are coming up and they're offering her all these gifts and stuff, uh, please let me know down in the comments. I can't, I can't think of any, uh, you're so hypnotizing. Could you be an angel? Could you be a devil? Um, what's the name of that song? I might think of it in just a second. I might think of it in just a second, but I can't think of it right now. Um, if I don't think of it, please somebody let me know down in the comments. Let's see. We're going to move on to tarot and see what messages come through with that. Now, so far, I've used a different deck in each pile, so I think I'm going to do that as well. And I'm going to use... Got one of these here. Oh, all right, yep. I'm going to use this one, Gilded. What messages? Probably shouldn't have shuffled on top of all these cards. What messages does Pile 3 need to hear? I'm going to set these up here so I have some space to shuffle. What messages does Pile 3 need to hear? This is going to give my age away just a little bit, but I've had this deck since I was 16. So, um, over 20 years now, and they definitely don't make them like they used to. I love this deck. What messages does Pile 
I just said pile two a minute ago. What messages does pile three need to hear? I think I said pile two a second ago. If I did, I so apologize. What messages does pile three need to hear? What messages does pile three need to hear? Messages is pile three need to hear. Messages is pile three need to hear spirit. Okay, so we have Six of Cups, Queen of Swords, Five of Swords. Empress and the Page of Pentacles. This is a long standing connection for a lot of you. Could be stemming from childhood with the Six of Cups here. I have this cat down here at the bottom, too. Matches the cat on the key. I feel like a lot of you have known each other since childhood, or this could be a past life connection, like I talked about earlier. And this Queen of Swords here. Next to this Five of Swords, I do feel like. Like we saw earlier with the, uh, let me move this over. Like we saw this Oblivion card, right? So you see this gentleman here holding the swords up, but you see this person in the background. Sometimes I feel like this is you, pal three. I say sometimes I feel like this is you, like I'm standing there right next to you. Sometimes I feel like this is you, and this is your person. You know, again, gender is not a thing right now. But, sharp-witted and intelligent, and words that slice like a knife, right? But I do feel like, you see how she is standing away from him okay you're standing away from him you both have a sword the swords are hers is not as raised as his okay his is raised up as if it's in victory and then you see this person waving a flag back there in defeat so i feel like sometimes this is you just raising your flag up in defeat because you don't want to argue with this person but then over here you know you got you got some quick-witted replies there too and sometimes I feel like you know those words can cut like a knife when you two are at, at each other so most of the time you are in your you're in your divine empress mode you know beautiful intelligent productive you know absolutely stunning gorgeous making money fruitful loving home okay and it's the same thing with this page of pentacles um i do think that there are times you feel like you want something new only because right now right now there's this feelings that cut like a knife 
between the two of you. I'm gonna get a little bit of get a little bit of clarity. We got Ace of Swords here at the bottom which talks about uh, new ideas, because we have Page of Pentacles, which is, you know, new ideas and learning something new. Um, new money, um, but learning it slow. And then Ace of Swords is also new ideas, uh, new career. Let me get a little bit of clarification for you. What's the what's the outcome here for for pile three, spirit? Because it's not a balanced energy, right? Like you got past, you got like the the sex of cups here is is past energy, um, like past love, childhood memories, and then you've got this queen of swords who is taking no bullshit. You got the five of swords who's you know, all this animosity. You've got the Empress here, which is, you know, living in abundance of great, just powerful, divine feminine stuff. And then you have this Page of Pentacles, which is learning something new. Um, what's the overall for, for Pile 3 here? Because I don't feel like... As it, as it relates to your your person here, like, is it moving into something new with your person? It's not, it's not balanced. What's the overall outcome for pile three? What's, what's the outcome here? What's the, what's the outcome and advice for pile three, please? What's the outcome and advice for pile three? Spirit. Hierophant. Okay, there it is. So we have the Hierophant. And we have Eight of Swords. A lot of you, this is just anxiety. And you definitely need to... Where's, where's that card? You need to rely on your intuition and divine timing. Okay? Where's that card? Enlightenment. Right? I don't want to make a mess of everything. But... This talks about divine timing. This talks about trusting your intuition. This talks, this talks about having faith in your path. Having faith in what's in store for you. Having faith in knowing that what is meant for you is never going to pass you by. Okay? This is being trapped. The Eight of Swords is basically feeling trapped in... Feeling trapped in life. Okay? But you're not really trapped. Okay? Her hands are not really bound tightly. She can get out of that and take that blindfold off. And actually walk out of those swords. Um, you just have to make the two of swords here on the bottom. Is you have to make that choice to move forward with your person. You have to make that choice. Can I have some more advice for pile three, please? What's the outcome? Seven of Swords. Okay, so when people see the Seven of Swords, we have Ten of Pentacles on the bottom. We have the Ten of Pentacles on the bottom, and the Seven of Swords, and the Magician. That's what we needed here. Okay, so when people see the Seven of Swords, they automatically think of uh, Seven of Swords as the card of lying, sneaky behavior, and stuff like that. But the Seven of Swords is also a card of planning, okay? So when the Seven of Swords is next to the Two of Swords, the Eight of Swords, and the Hierophant, this talks about 
trusting in your intuition, trusting and having faith in whatever is meant for you is not going to pass you by. This talks about having faith in making a decision and basically letting go of the anxiety and knowing that what is meant for you is not going to pass you by. You need to make that choice and know that everything is going to be okay and step forward into your faith. You need to step, and I'm not talking about faith in, in God and the universe and um, be all holier than thou. And, and if you are that, that's okay. I'm not, I'm not bashing God. I'm not bashing religion. I'm not bashing law of assumption. Whatever you, you believe in, that is absolutely fine. And that is a safe place for that here too. I'm talking about, you need to have trust in yourself. Don't sit here and bash yourself. Okay. Because you need to make a decision and know that everything is going to work out the way that it needs to okay you need to know that whatever is meant for you is not going to pass you by and as soon as you know that what is meant for you is not going to pass you by and have faith in whatever is meant for you is not going to pass you by you will move into your ten of pentacles energy okay you will move into the magician mode okay we had ten of pentacles on the bottom of the deck underneath this magician right here these were the two on the bottom of the deck we had ten of pentacles with the magician sitting directly underneath it as soon as you change your mindset into the i'm going to make a decision to get out of this mindset that i'm good and everything's going to work out the way that it's supposed to you immediately step forward into the planning of everything's going to work out the way that it needs to and you step into your pentacle energy and that's what your future is so all of these mountains that you were looking at in the beginning right here this path that you have will remain open and clear and you'll avoid all those mountains together all together it'll be gone they won't even be there there might be a few there this path may swerve a little bit like you have right here this little curvy thing right here, but that knot won't tighten. Everything will be the way that it's supposed to be. But it's up to you to, to, it's up to you to know which path you're supposed to be on. It's up to you to know that, which path you're supposed to be on and whether or not you and your person are supposed to do this together or do this separately or you know work through it together or stay the way that you are only you can know that not even nobody else can do this for you okay you have to be the one to do it so i hope that this resonates for you or somebody let me know if it does down in the comments um i am going to pull a couple of alphabet beads and uh, see if any names come through and like I said earlier if you don't have any um, beads that come through that's okay <clears throat> if you do then that's okay too Definitely turned out to be a really good reading. Um, getting earth signs and uh, earth signs and air signs with this reading. Now, like I said earlier, that's not a set in stone thing that could just mean that those are in your charts or earth signs or Capricorn, Taurus, and uh, oh my goodness, I'm having a brain fart. Capricorn, Taurus, and uh, 
Virgo. My bad. And um, air signs. Aquarius. Aquarius. Aquarius is the only one that's really popping out for me right now. Yeah, I'm not really having any other signs that are, are really just screaming at me. But and that doesn't really necessarily mean that, and you don't have to be that sign, it could just be in your chart. Um, I'm here in Libra and uh, Gemini as well. But you can, it could be any sign, really. I mean, that's just because we have, I mean, I definitely earth signs with this mountain and stuff like that. And then we've got green, a lot of green here. So you could be um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. There's definitely a lot of green. And then uh, air signs with the uh, feather messages um, but anyway I want to pull some because we're if you guys are still here an hour in I'm definitely want to give you some props I do want to pull some quick letter um, alphabet beads for you guys and see if any names come through if you don't hear your name or your person's name or see initials that's okay um, it just means that those names are what's coming through right now. Sorry if it's really loud. And I'll try to lift this paper up so you can see it. Um, I know I definitely need to get some bigger uh, tiles here. Maybe some um, Scrabble tiles or something just to make it easier. But we have uh, DM. Maybe somebody's going to slide into somebody's DMs. Um, so slide into somebody's DMs with some spicy messages. Um, there's a heart here. I don't know if you can see that very well. Uh, somebody definitely loves somebody. Loves somebody. We have S, A, and... Trying to get these flipped over as quickly as I can. <clears throat> Goodness. Um, I'm hearing um, <laughs> JD. I see you here in the initials. I'm hearing uh, DB, it's in DB. It would also be designated driver, but I'm hearing the name DB, like uh, D E E, D E E. Uh, Jackson, Lola, Laura, Vincent, Sarah. Violet, could be a flower violet as well, Van, Sandra, Greg, thank you spirit. Um, all the V's here. See the word no? Um, Morris, DL, let me keep it on the DL. CD. Somebody could have made somebody a CD. Uh, Zach. 
is uh, Ted. Okay. Rebecca. Jefferson. Sean. Kelly. Irene, Helen, Aisha, Eleanor, Oliver, Ward High is there, Walter. William, Giovanni, Baxter, okay, Joseph. Quinn, Keisha, Savior, uh, Annie, Anya, Thomas, Daniel, Shauna, Jasper, Iman, Edward, Eddie, Natalie. I'll we'll do a couple more and then I'm going to stop because we're already at 107. Daniel, I think I said that already. Danny, Daniel, Darren, Vox, I don't know what that, that is. Ophelia, I see you, Q, Zain. Brandon, Bethany. Okay, so these are all the letters. Um, hopefully you can see them okay. I'm going to try to lift them up so you can see them better. I see the word kiwi. I'm not sure. I also hear the word door. I see the word Benz. I also see a naughty word that I'm not going to say because this is not a naughty reading. But I hope everybody enjoyed this reading. I hope it resonated for some of you. If it did, let me know down in the comments. Um, so that was everything. Um, and I hope you enjoyed. So. Thank you very much for listening, and I will be back soon. And yeah, so thank you for stepping into my bubble. Bye!